Zdravstvitsya and welcome for another episode of Creative Slav. Today we're going to cook up some kasha or buckwheat. This is a very nutritious grain that is very popular in Russia and the Ukraine. It kind of looks like this. You might not see these in the stores. It's, it's um, not as common as other grain, grains, but this one's a really good one. See, there are even little sticks in this one. Um, you want to, because of that, you want to make sure you rinse things out really well. So for this recipe, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a, um, a little strainer. And my cameraman just back up just a little bit, sweetie. And I'm going to get a strainer. And in the strainer, I'm going to put um, one cup of the buckwheat. Now, if you are cooking for more people, you, of course, can add two cups or three cups. But today, I'm just going to make one cup. Now, normally, I said that I don't measure things, and this is true. But for this kind of cooking... Um, where I want to make sure that the proportion of water versus grain is correct. I want to make sure that I do measure this. So I'm going to just come over here to the sink and what I do is I just, sorry, uh, rinse it out with my hand because in that, um, the kasha or the buckwheat, there'll be um, a little bit of dirt um, that's picked up from the soil and you want to make sure you rinse this out. This is very similar to what you would do with a rice. Okay, so I'm just making sure I rinse that out really, really well. Okay. Now, when you do that, you'll notice also that there's a really um, uh, distinct smell to this. So when I was a kid, I said it smelled like dirt, um, but that's not actually true. It smells like a, a very nutty, uh, nutty grain flavor. So I'm just gonna let that drain a little bit and I'll put it over here. So what, um, to enhance the flavor of the buckwheat, because if I just cooked that, it would be kind of boring. I'm going to take some butter and put that on the stove, and I'm going to heat that up, and I'm going to add some mushrooms to that. And I've already had them pre-sliced in bits. I like my mushrooms in bigger chunks. And I'm going to grab like a handful of the, those mushrooms, maybe two, because I do like mushrooms. Um, and this is going to add more texture and depth to this dish. It also is reminiscent of the grain and the earth um, where this um, particular wheat grows. Um, the other one I have here, this is, um, I've soaked these. These are called porcini mushrooms. They're also a very um, hearty, um, deep flavor um, that will actually add um, more depth to your buckwheat. And I like adding this, and I'm going to save that water, which I will then add um, when I put it into the buckwheat. So I just take this and slice in pieces. So this was um, dried porcini. was not able to find fresh, um, and it, that's no problem, because all you have to do is reconstitute it by adding it to um, some boiling water and letting it soak, just to extract all the flavors and this dark juice that you see. I, I let mine just soak overnight, but you don't have to do that. It, you know, 10, 15 minutes is all you're going to eat. It looks like coffee. Yes, it does. It's rich brown, chocolatey color. So I'm just going to let that cook a little bit. And I added butter. I, said I added some butter to that. Probably need to add more. Always good to have a lot of butter on hand when you're cooking Russian food. Um, we're not too worried about health issues, apparently. So, um, but if you are, you can you can find an alternative, perhaps uh, coconut um, oil. It won't give it the same flavor. You um, want to also try sunflower oil, but I've run out of that. It smells good. Yes. Um, yeah, we like mushrooms around here. Um, the other thing I'm going to add is garlic. I just cut a piece, a couple of pieces of garlic. I'm going to add that and. I'm going to add a little handful of salt, and I probably will add more of it later on, and a little handful of pepper, and then I'm going to add the dill, but not quite yet. Okay. So just let that cook up a little bit. So this also helps uh, bring the flavor out of the mushroom. Yeah, I'm going to now go ahead. Oh, the other th ingredient, since we're here in Texas and I want to have that good earthy flavor, I'm adding some um, pecans. Pecans is a nut that's very popular and um, prevalent in the state of Texas. 
Uh, you could also use chestnuts, but with the chestnuts, of course, make sure that you soak them to get um, the coloring and bitter flavor out of them. So I'm going to have, um, use my scooper, and I'm going to just measure this off. And notice um, when I initially measured the, bulgur, the the buckwheat, I had a cup, but now I have a little bit more than a cup because it, it did absorb some of the water. So just add that in. I think the smell is coming from the butter. Yes, and the mushrooms, I think. Mm. Yes, too bad we don't have um, smell oh. a smell of vision Yes, okay, now we're going to be um, adding to this mixture uh, the broth of the mushrooms. And we'll need, uh, it's a two to one mixture, so two, oh, there's an extra mushroom, I'll have to add that one. Um, two to one ratio, so this is approximately two cups of, and I'm adding vegetable broth and the mushroom broth. So whatever you have from the um, the broth of the mushroom, you're going to add in. And the remainder you can use a vegetable or chicken. And you might want to experiment with different broths. Definitely you don't want to use fish broth though. I'm just going to add this one in. And um, I'm going to add, add a pinch more salt. And I'm going to add a little bit more butter because that will give a you know really good flavor. Um, don't think I need pepper, but I am going to add the dill. Okay. Mm. And so I'm just going to stir that up. You want to wait till that turns to a boil. And when it boils, you want to put a lid on it and then cover it and let it cook. It'll take about 20 minutes and then you will have a meal. When you come back, you will see that all of this is cooked and I'll show you how to put it on your plate. So for right now, we're just going to take a little break and we'll come back to this um, after it's cooked. Thank you. Okay, the uh, kasha here, our buckwheat, has been cooking for about 20 minutes, and I'm going to just turn the stove off. Um, I'm going to lift the lid, be careful, and there you have it. So that's all there is to this meal. It's very simple, very easy, and quite inexpensive. So what you want to do is now just put it on your plate, and there are those lovely mushrooms, and... If you noticed, I've added some pickles. Um, so you put that on the plate, top it off with a little dill, and then you have a meal. So if you're looking, um, if you're very budget conscious and um, you need a quick, easy, very inexpensive meal, this is it. So today, dinner, kasha, some pickles, and you've got a great meal. So until next time, this is Tamara from Creative Slop and Paka.